Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So for today's video, I have my what I've been melting slash empties. Um, this is for um, pretty much what I've been melting for, you know, the month of March. Um, I didn't have a melting basket per se. I just been kind of, you know, melting what I want to melt and that's it. <laughs> um, but I do have a melting basket that I have uh, planned for April. So um, I will be sharing that at some point too. So we are just going to hop right into it. And we are going to start off with some Teddy Bees. Um, I have a souffle here of Grown Women. Um, this is actually, it's Grown Women blank. I won't say it on camera. This is Palo Santo Orchid Amber and Smoked Vanilla. This was poured in September of 2022. This is such a beautiful scent, but it's also like a really beautiful bedroom scent. You get the Palo Santo and the Orchid and that Amber. It's just like a really nice, like that's what it reminds me of is like a grown woman scent. It's very, you know, sophisticated, uh, just really nice, sophisticated bedroom scent. Perfumey. Uh, so good. If I saw this offered again in one of her releases, I would definitely pick up another souffle at that. Um, we'll stick with some Teddy Bees here. I have... I couldn't get it all back into this bag because when I got the lid, the lid was uh, cracked. But when I chopped it up, I couldn't fit it all into the bag. And this is like the biggest size bag that I have. So I did put some pieces in the um, back into the, the tub container and I put it in another bag. This one's called Mom Life. This is creamy oat milk, frothy vanilla, cold foam, and a hint of sensual vanilla. I melted this one in my bedroom last night. This is really nice. I'm glad that I got a tub of this. I believe I bought this, was it from summer? <laughs> I believe I bought this in a de-stash from summer. You get the oat milk and you do get that vanilla cold foam in the sensual vanilla. It's a really nice vanilla creamy oat milk scent. Very pretty. Next from Teddy Bees, we have one of my favorite, favorite scents. This is Honey Bee. This is sweet sugar cookies, honey nectar, sweet vanilla, and beech treats, which is her beach nights. I was afraid of this scent at first because of the honey nectar, because I'm not usually a fan of honey. But this is just one of the most beautiful scents. You do get the honey nectar, but... It's not like a sickeningly sweet honey. It is perfect. You get the honey nectar, the sugar cookies, a slight hint of beach nights, but it's really like that honey nectar and the sugar cookies. Oh, this is such a beautiful scent. I believe I have another souffle of this in my collection, which I'm really glad that I do because I love this scent and it's one of like the Teddy Bee scents that I don't want to be without. So if she offers this again, I will definitely be picking up a larger size. Next, we have some Sassy Girl Aroma. This is called Walking in the Rain. Sugar, vanilla orchids with a little extra to make you feel like you're in the tropics. This is such a beautiful scent. You get the vanilla orchid. And I don't know what that little extra something is, but there is something extra in there to really make you feel you're like you're in the tropics. But you get the vanilla orchid. It's just a really nice, light, perfumey scent. I think it's perfect for the springtime. Oh, this is so good. Mm. It's so hard to describe, but it's such a unique, pretty blend. So that is Walking in the Rain. Next, we have Dessas. I'm actually melting this one today. When I woke up this morning, I was just like in the mood for a nice, fresh, 
you know, uh, sea salty type of blend. So I am melting Seaside Escape. This is salt and brine ocean air sweetened with lavender and toasted marshmallow. I have one piece left. <laughs> it's so good. You get the saltiness, the ocean air, the lavender and the toasted marshmallow. It is just like the perfect like sea salt, fresh aquatic scent. I would definitely pick this up again if she offers it. Next, we have a Scentsy Clam Hair in Pink Apple and Nectarine. This was um, a spring brick last year. I had this in my club for a little bit and I did get a couple of bars, but then I ended up taking it out because I wasn't sure if it was a scent that I was going to keep gravitating towards but I actually love it and I'm kind of sad that I took it out of my club. But then I think it was in January when Scentsy had their flash sale. I picked up a brick in this. They had it in a brick in the flash sale. So I think I have like one other full bar. I got four uh, pieces left in this and then I think I got one more full bar and then a full brick. So I am good on that for a while, but if I see it offered in a flash sale, I would definitely pick up more of it. Next, we have some Rose Girls. This is Banshee Boardwalk. This is S'mores Salty Sea Air and Marshmallow and Sea Salt, which is her Beach Nights type. Oh, so good. She does have a really good Beach Nights. You get everything. You get the s'mores. You get the Salty Sea Air. The mar uh, Marshmallow. Oh, so good. I love me a Beach Nights blend that I haven't met a Beach Nights that I haven't liked. So that is Banshee Boardwalk. Beach Nights is just like, like my all time favorite scent note. So I love to try every vendor's uh, Beach Night oil. Next we have Scoopable Wax Melts. This is an ice cream scoop shape in carbs, which is Dunk My Donut, Royal Sugar Cookie, and Fresh Baked Bread. I just have a couple pieces left of this. So I think I'm going to uh, carry this over into my April melting basket so I can get it finished up because I hate just having a few pieces left of something. Uh, but this is just such the richest, most decadent bakery. I can't believe I slept on this scent for so long. Uh, Summer from Summer Michelle, she's the one that actually got me into this scent. And yeah, I can't believe I slept on it for so long. It is so good and when it warms it like it's like a hundred times better on warm too but it smells amazing on cold and like a hundred times better on warm so that is carbs next i have a clamshell here from super tarts and this is family this is cinnamon glaze and vanilla bean i know it sounds like your typical scent but i love this when I melted this for the first time, it gave me, um, it reminded me of the outlet mall that I have near me. When I go shopping there outside, they usually have like, you know, the vendors with the different foods and they have a nut bar there. And I would get the cinnamon glazed uh, pecans there. And when I melted this for the very first time and I walked out into my kitchen, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, this smells like that I'm at the outlet mall. It smells exactly like those cinnamon glazed pecans, even though it like the pecan note isn't in there, but the cinnamon glaze and the vanilla bean, it really just reminds me of that. Like walking by and smelling that. Oh, it's so good. So that is family. Next we have Rose Girls Clothes on the Beach. Pink Sands, which is the Yankee Candle type. Waikiki Beach, which is a Bath and Body Works type. And A Touch of Fresh. This is beautiful. This bag is from April of 2022, and this thing is strong as heck still. You get the pink sands first, and then, you know, it really does go in order. I get the pink sands first, then the Waikiki Beach, and I do get a touch of the freshness. Oh, beautiful. I think this is really beautiful for the springtime, too. A nice, like, spring cleaning day when you have the windows open and you have this scent going. Oh, so pretty. 
Next we have Lavender and Speckles. This is called Rory. This is from her Gilmore Girls collection. This is soft pink chiffon blended with cashmere musk and sweet strawberry pound cake. This is nice. I don't know, you know, if it's really a scent that I would need more of, but a small bag is definitely enough because it really is like a perfumey scent. And sometimes I'm not huge on perfumey scents. I'm more of a bakery lover, but you do get the pink chiffon with the cashmere musk. I don't really get strawberry pound cake, but I do get like a little bit of a sweetness though that I think comes from the strawberry pound cake, but it's really nice though. Like I said though, I think a small bag will be just enough for me. So that is Rory. Next, we have an empty souffle here from Teddy B's in one of my all-time favorite scents from her. This is Surfside Sweet Shop. This is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats. I used to think that Witches Be Crazy was my all-time favorite scent from Teddy B's. But I think Surfside Sweet Shop surpasses that now. This is just such a beautiful scent and it's a scent that I never, ever, ever want to be without. Anytime she offers this, I buy it. I always add it to my order every time. I think I have like two or three souffles at home and I think I have another one coming in from the, um, the last pre-order because you, it's just so good. You get that birthday cake and the beach treats with the cake batter. It's just such a rich, creamy bakery with beach nights. I love this. So that is Surfside Sweet Shop. We have an empty puppy pack here from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is Emerald City. This is baked Granny Smith apple pie topped with brown sugar on a pretzel crust. And this is just a really nice apple scent. The apple with the pie oh, and the brown sugar. I have quite a bit of this in my stock of L3. This is just such a really good bakery scent. I have an empty clamshell here from a uh, Sensi in Ariel Under the Sea. This is in just such a pretty aquatic with a touch of floral. This was the first Sensi bar that I had ever melted, so I feel like I have like a soft spot for it. This is now in my club. Oh, and it's just so good. I love it. another Scentsy bar here. I actually just melted this a couple of days ago because the name was fitting. This is called Happy Birthday. And I melted three cubes of it. Oh, this is so good. I typically don't like chocolate and wax and I do get a chocolate note from this, but it's just blended so well. It's just such a rich, creamy birthday cake scent. Oh, I love it. And it's so strong on warm. I have this in my club and I think this is one scent that'll never leave my club. <laughs> so that is happy birthday. Another empty souffle here from Teddy B's. This is I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. This is I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apples, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. Another beautiful Teddy B's scent. I think I have a tub left of this. Oh, it's so good. It's just such a nice, like, apple body care scent. Ah, so beautiful. And my last two here, I have another empty Scentsy bar in my beloved Vanilla Waves. Ah, this is my Scentsy heartbreak. Because I did not have a club when this went away and I didn't, and I was new to Scentsy at the time and I didn't know that they were notorious for taking away all the good scents and not bringing them back. This is just like my happy scent. Every time I smell this, it just makes me happy. Yep. So this is definitely my Scentsy heartbreak. If I ever see this come back, I will put it in my club and it will never leave. <laughs> And lastly, I have a Matrix Melt, I believe these are called. Summer had sent this one to me. This is from L3 Waxy Wonders and Strawberry Pound Cake in Cali Comfort. Her Cali Comfort is Strawberry Pound Cake and um, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. So this is basically 
straw like strawberry pound cake with the boardwalk marshmallow clouds and then an <laughs> extra strawberry pound cake so it's like double strawberry pound cake with boardwalk marshmallow clouds and it's just so good l3 i think has my favorite strawberry pound cake it's just so rich and creamy oh, so good and that added boardwalk marshmallow clouds oh, it's just so good So yeah, that is my empty slash what I've been melting for the month of March. I I know I have a few things that are missing. I Sometimes my brain just doesn't remember to throw it in my bag, you know, so I can film my what I've been melting. I try to keep like a separate bag here so I can just put all my stuff to the side so I can remember what I've melted. So when it comes to the end of the month, I can share it with you all. So I know that there are a few things missing. I know I've melted a little bit more than this, but I honestly just can't remember. So I need to be a little bit better about putting the stuff to the side so I can remember to share it with you all. But yeah, that is all that I have to share for you. I am in the process of getting my April melting basket together. Um, my focus for April, I want to focus on using up some of my Teddy Bees um items because i know the pre-order is coming in very soon so i want to work on getting some stuff moved out to make room for the new <laughs> pre-order items that are coming in so yeah i will be filming that within the next day or two my april melting basket and yeah so that is all that i have to share with you all thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending some time with me today i really appreciate it drop me a comment down below let me know what have you been melting what are some of your favorites lately i love to see what everybody's been melting and what their favorites are and i'll chat with you all in the comments and i'll see you all in my next one bye